This is my entry in the Instructables Lights competition. It's a um, light reactive light. So if I turn off this desk lamp now, it'll turn itself on. Um, but if I make the desk lamp slowly brighter, the light changes. Um, it gets red in from the edges and then slowly works its way in towards the middle. And finally it goes out. Right, so what I've done is I've got a STM32 F4 discovery board here. Um, it's wired up by RS232 because the USB causes problems when talking to these LEDs, unfortunately. Um, the LEDs are a cheap WS2811 LED string off eBay. Um, all that they need to control them is power, ground and one data line, which is a green line in here. I've got a light dependent resistor, an LDR. Um, in a little potential divider with a resistor on the other side which is kind of the average value in normal daylight of the LDR. Um, so let's go and do some software. Right, so um, first off I'll set up the SPI I won't cover this in too much detail because there's actually a tutorial on the website showing um, on the Esprino website showing how to use these LEDs. Um, but if I send some data now it should turn that LED red um, because you've got red, green and blue um, on there. For instance I can change it purple now by adding some blue. Uh, so on the website there's a function which it, all it does is create an array with steadily increasing values. Um, this is red, green and blue so they'll just incre increase from black to white. Um, and then just one other small function that um, sends the data down SPI. Uh, and then if I call it, it'll light up all the LEDs. So now we just want to get the analogs. Um, the potential divider, one side of it is set to um, to ground, the other side is C3. So if we make C3 3.3 volts, then we can read back the value from the middle, which is on, uh, on C1. And if I cover this up with my hand now, you should see the value getting higher. Now we can modify um, this get pattern function to use the light value that we had. So we'll make a variable per light. Um, up. We just have to be careful that it doesn't overflow. Um, so we'll just make sure it doesn't go below zero and it doesn't go above 255. And now we can call do lights again, and um, hopefully it'll update. And then if I cover it with my hand, it'll get brighter. We can call do lights automatically using set interval. Uh, this will do it 20 times a second. And now when I put my hand over, it'll do that. Now um, I won't go through it in detail, but this is what I've actually done. Um, this function averages the light value over time just to make it react more smoothly and it um, takes into account the distance from the center of the LED uh, LED string uh, and does red green and blue all separately so that you get the color changing when you you cover it up and that's it